Hi everyone and welcome to another video with me, Michael Turney. Today we're going to have a look at the quickest and easiest way of how to create these holographic particles in Adobe After Effects. These videos are designed to be the most efficient way for people with basic working knowledge of After Effects to learn new skills. If you're completely new to After Effects, then you can check out my Fundamentals of Animation course in the link below. So let's get started. First we'll create a new composition. You can rename it here, 1920 by 1080 25 frames a second for 10 seconds. Click OK. We'll now drag our video clip into here. Drag it into our timeline. So we have this video. We'll come over to our effects and presets panel and type in CC ball action and we'll drag that onto our clip. Change the ball size to 15 and the twist properties to brightness. And then we'll bend this a little bit, maybe to 100. We'll create a new camera. Click OK. And then we can use these three tools up here. So this one to zoom into the particles. This one to rotate around them. And then this one to move and pan in space. So if we scrub through the timeline here, we can see the video playing and the CC ball action is using the brightness of the video as a map. We now can go to our effects and type in glow. And drag that on top. Can bring the intensity up and the glow radius up as well. We can now bring our camera properties up. Keyframe the position, point of interest and orientation. Go to the end. We can pan to a different part. Feel free to experiment with different camera angles like this. And you can also select the CC ball action and bring the grid spacing closer together by bringing this down to one. And then you get more particles. I'm also going to add a deep glow, which is a cool plugin and um, we can get chromatic aberration on here just to make it look a little bit more holographic. And there we are, the quickest and easiest way to get these holographic particles in Adobe After Effects. 